All right, guys, so one of the first things you need to do is you need to go into all of your streaming services apps and basically switch off the auto download. And this is where you, know, you go into Netflix and it, it thinks it knows what movies or TV series you like and that automatically downloads them to your devices. In the background, unbeknownst, you've got the option to switch it from between Wi-Fi only or data roaming and Wi-Fi or data roam only. Now the thing is that the settings for your Starlink is a Wi-Fi, it's a Wi-Fi signal. So normally I have it set up for Wi-Fi at home and it will download via Wi-Fi. But here your Wi-Fi is using all this this data. So you need to switch that off to start with. Okay? So that's all your streaming services, double check those. The biggest sucker of data I've found is because I have basically all of my devices, all Apple devices, synced into the cloud, especially when I take photos and videos. And I'm making heaps of YouTube videos. So what's happening is that all of that data is then being sunk up to the cloud, then downloaded to the other two devices. So, mate, it's chewing, it's, it's going through so much data, it's not funny. So... You need to basically either make sure that the devices, when you're not using them, the devices, when you're not using them, switch off the connection to Starlink. If you're only using one device at a time, just have that one device going. And you need to basically switch off the syncing to iCloud. Another one is with YouTube, suppose, especially if you've got YouTube Premium. What it does is it looks at, okay, watch some videos that they might want to watch when they don't have access to data and it will download them in the background. So again, there's another heap of data that happens. Also, some, some of your mapping software, you might have pre-organized downloads in the background happening um, of maps and whatnot. Check those. So, so basically, you need to go into your phone settings and have a look at basically either switching off a lot of this stuff and working it out slowly one thing at a time. And then once you're going away, you need to almost put together a bit of a checklist. Now, here's some other tips. So one of the other things I noticed the other day is I was in my tent at night time. I had my Starlink dish um, sitting up next to me in the vestibule. So I was able to run Starlink whilst I was at night time watching a few videos and whatnot, but I actually fell asleep. So mind you, when I fell asleep, if there was stuff that was downloading in the background, it just kept going. So there is actually a sleep schedule that you can put together. So what you need to do is go into the settings in your Starlink. Then you need to, it'll be set to router. Click to Starlink. Then sleep schedule. Okay. Enable sleep schedule. So I'm going to put it, say, from 11 o'clock at night to, say, 6.30 in the morning. Okay. And then save it. Are you sure? So Starlink, as you can see, your Starlink will go offline and stop melting snow. You will need to connect to your Starlink network to turn off sleep mode. Now, I have no issues in relation to snow. Okay, and that's it, save it, and she's done. So another thing is, when you're watching videos, if there's any videos, either via streaming services or via YouTube, Sometimes there are options in relation to down specking the quality of the image. So again, like don't watch 4K. Um, you know, put it down to 1080p or 720 uh, or even less. So some of the settings are set to auto, and then some you can put down to what's lowest quality. You're still going to get the ability to watch the video, but that's going to save a lot of the data. Next one. So here's another thing: before you're going away and you're going to be using Starlink make sure all your devices have all their updates done all the app updates and so forth makes sure they've, they've all been run through and that's going to save you a heap of data i mean you might have some updates still come through whilst you're um, out and about but as long as you can get the vast majority done before you leave that'll save your data as well all right another setting is basically going to so this is for ios i'll show you on the screen otherwise for all your devices whether they're android or laptops or whatever switch off auto updates so you can see here let's go into your settings tab go into general software update 
and it's on, switch it off. So off, 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 and that's going to save you a heap of data as well. All right, here's another tip. So go into your settings and to stop all your apps refreshing with background data. So opening up, open up your settings tab, go to general and then go to background app refresh. And there's all my apps and they're all set up for background app refresh. So you see you don't have to do them all individually. Just simply click that one button and that'll stop the refresh of content when I'm Wi-Fi in the background. It's that simple. All right, guys, so my last tip and probably the most important one of the all, um, and for me, it's where it sucked the most data by far, is photo syncing to the cloud. So I'll show you where this setting is and it's the important one. And it actually, this one means that you don't have to do a couple of the other ones as well. Let's go into settings. Let's go into Wi-Fi and basically whatever you've called your Starlink Wi-Fi. So on the screen you can see mine Starlink Big Rig. Um, you click on the I button. Okay. And then there is this thing called low data mode. <laughs> okay. So I had it switched off um, and I just found it. So switch that on. So low data mode helps reduce your iPad data usage over your mobile network or specific Wi-Fi networks, and that's the key, okay? Because some of your other ones, you switch off data, but because Starlink is Wi-Fi, um, it doesn't limit that. So this setting in particular is perfect, and it's specific to that Wi-Fi link, okay? Now, when low, low data mode is turned on, automatic updates and background tasks, such as photo syncing, are paused. And for me, I'm recording like heaps and heaps of video footage, drone footage, photos, and this is what has absolutely um, maxed out my data usage is this thing. Because I couldn't work out how to switch it off because if you actually go into, and I'll show you, if you go into, do a search for photos. Um, go into photos, okay? And then in photos, there's an option at the top here, iCloud Photos, okay? So if you switch that off, that causes all sorts of issues because it will either remove all everything from your iPad or it'll download all the photos and videos that are in the cloud to your device, which you don't want to do. So cancel that. So yeah, because I thought that would be the simplest way of doing it, but no, you can't do it from there. So before you had to switch off automatic updates, so you don't have to do that now if you use this low data mode. Next, don't forget to switch it on. So all of these things you're gonna to have to write down and which things that you're switching off and then switch back on when you get back and you're not gonna be utilizing Starlink. All right guys, so there are just some tips. Um, if I find anything else, I'll do an update to this video. Like I said, I got a bit of a shock, the amount of data that I consumed within, you know, a short three or four day stretch using Starlink. So I definitely blew my cap straight away. Well guys, I hope you found that useful. Um, next time I head out, basically I'm gonna do all of those things and let's see if I can get away with just that standard 50 gig plan. Uh, at the end of the day, all the uploading of the photos and that, unless I need them for video editing and stuff, I can do that when I get home. If you really, if you got something out of this video, again, give us a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, switch on notifications. And if you want to shout us a coffee, drop us a super thanks. I'd greatly appreciate it. Again, there's a whole heap of stuff on the channel. Go check it out. Starlink is proving to be absolutely amazing for me. From, you know, firing up Starlink, you know, in the middle of a river. <laughs> um, whilst in the river, on the banks of the river, at campsite, you know, 30, 40 metres away. It's been absolutely amazing. On the top of a mountain at, you know, 600 metres above sea level or 1,200 metres above sea level. Um, on the side of a mountain, the side of a cliff. Like it's, it's worked everywhere. Absolute game changer. All right guys, cheers.